Cranny does come through. Oh, he's really looking for that kill pressure. Staz moves forward. Kyrie gonna be able to jump in, but the Thorn Rose is there, oh. and the Cutthroat takes him down. Turtle First. again. Look at the Fanny, though. Look at Kyrie. What the heck? Again! Assassinating one of the frontliners like it's nothing. Contest control over the map or even vision in any of the brushes. So Onyx have full control and they're using it very efficiently right oh. here. Another assassination onto Hijaman now. Kyrie! He gets out. They need to defend the threat in the bottom lane where CW is going to be able to munch on the turret. Face turret in the eighth minute of the game. Keyboy! Oh, with the divine judgment onto Hijaman. CW full goes on forward. Here, even so, right? The positioning is very important, but Kyrie finds Taz and Dreams. That's a roamer. That's your frontliner. If he's the leader like that, they are delegating these tasks to people who shouldn't be taking turrets, to people who shouldn't be assassins. But if you're 8,000 gold ahead, you can do it, Kyrie! What? Say goodbye to Hijume, the only man with a kill on the side of Evo's Legends. Hat Behind. Sans. Gets a pick! Divine Judgment as well. That's all the weakness points popped in, but CW does too much damage. Drop all tank, not gonna be ready, but now it's gonna be Kyrie who jumps in. Keep it, Luke. Jumps in with the Divine Judgment! Oh, it's gonna be Sans, one of them without blast, all to the back line. With CW doing some damage, Kyrie takes Taz down. The them without blast back to respond it over to Onik. Evo Sledges once again able to defend, but the crossbow of Tang onto Brand, taking him down. Dreams, Psychots, and Hijime against CW and Sans. They're gonna jump in. CW still able to kite away right now, but Psychot should be able to deal with him. Unless Kyrie has something to say about it. Game one for Onik. 12 minutes into the grand finals. Mirko Arashi.